Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is The Good Thief. From here on out, for this series, I'm going to play Henry as if he didn't take the noble's offer and went on that quest line. The quest line that everyone is doing, I'm not going to do for this series. I'm going, I, though I do have that series, I stream that series every single day until it's done. Uh, on this channel at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, sometimes earlier in the weekends, but you can find that in the playlist. Anyway, this one is going to see how good of a thief can we be. Damn it, I'm hungry. Oh, he's hungry. We better eat right now. Okay, and let's grab these pancakes right here, too. Let's get all these sweet pancakes while I talk about this. So we're going to go ahead and go through all of the good thief quests that we can get our hands on, as well as some treasure chest uh, stuff that we've got. We've got ancient maps we're going to go through. We're going to get all the maps that we can get. We're, he's going to be the on the wrong side of the law from here on out. So what happened was, if you don't know the, the premise of the game, guys, what happened was his village was attacked, his parents were killed, he wanted to get revenge, he goes to a noble, he becomes a servant of the noble, and then he goes through a quest line, and then he's re re redeemed in the end, I guess. Oh, look at her. There she is, just sitting there. I'm going to go talk to her. As soon as we talk to this guy... A word with you, young fellow. Yes, sir. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is Miller Peshik. He is the Mafia King. Well, the Robber King. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. And talking of you being at death's door, while you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still... That is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Corpses. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. It's still a human body. Only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. 
Alrighty guys, we got some schnapps in our pocket and we're ready to rock and roll. We're going to go ahead and go on right over here. We're going to the, grab this spade right here, which is a shovel. And we're going to grab it. And then we're going to go ahead. I do need to eat a couple more things. Let's eat these pancakes real quick while I talk to you. So what happened was, we got knocked out by a big lug by the name of... I forget his name. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we got knocked out, got our skull crushed, and so they, these guys have been taking care of me. Teresa, I knew her from the old the old village, and uh, she's a sweetheart, and she is cooking for me. Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So hopefully down the road we're going to have a little romance with this girl, but maybe not because we're not going down the regular path. So don't get your hopes up. Even though she's a cutie, she might just be a friend. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do what this middle Peshik has asked us to do. We're going to run over. He said that you can, you can distract the dogs with meat, but you don't need to do that. So what we're going to do is let me see where it got in the way of... I have 5 out of 78 weight... <coughs> We should probably grab our weapon. We're going to need our weapon. We're going to need our gear. Let's grab that right quick. Um, I forgot we just woke up and everything was put in our trunk. So we actually need to grab everything out of the trunk. We're going to go ahead and grab our weapons. We're going to grab the shard. And we'll grab a torch. Armor. I grabbed, because I was setting up for this, the absolute... The absolute... I'm not going to take the warhorse gamison. The absolute... Just least contrived clothing I could get my hands on. Now, what that means is I want my visibility, conspicuousy, and noise to be as low as possible. Now, like some things like the linen hood, that can go away because that, that's going to lower my noise. Um, the tar jacket, no, that lowered my noise even more. Everything that I've got on me is going to lower my, no my noise, right? So we're going to go ahead and take this in case we need to fight. But actually... <coughs> We'll take the Gamison as well, just in case we need to fight. But, oh, the Marigold Concoction. And we're going to need our lockpicks. What am I thinking? May as well take this Groshin, too. And we're going to be off. Now, we don't need the meat for the dogs. I don't, I've done this quest several times, and I don't see really the point in doing that unless we're actually you know, doing the roleplay thing, which is we are doing the roleplay thing of him being a thief. But... Just for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to run over to his place and we're going to dig up the corpse so that we can get that ring. And we can just go right across here. This is the baths right here, the, basically the whorehouse. And um, we'll be dealing with that later. We will have some time with the, with the ladies at the, at the brothel. Get up here. There we go. We're going to go this way. And there's a little something, a little treat here I got for you guys for those of you playing the game. You take this path right here and go right here. If you're going to do alchemy, this is a. Let's see, is it going to give me the perk? Oh, it did. Oh, well, it's probably still already on my map. The wormwood grows here if you're looking for wormwood, guys. Okay, also there's some marigolds. But uh, the wormwood, I couldn't find wormwood forever, so there it is. Uh, it's a, a little uh, garden. Oh, here we go. Woodland garden is what it's called. So if you want to get yourself some wormwood, there that is. We're going to go up here. We're going to bypass his place, kind of. Amanita muscaria. Fly agaric is what it's called, but it's Amanita muscaria. Super poisonous an or, or mushroom. And we need to get up to the grave, which is going to be up the hill from this guy's house. This is the this is the executioner's house right here. We might not be able to get through these bushes. Yeah, we can. Oh no, that's his oh. We don't want to talk to him just yet. You can talk to him if you want. But you got to have your charisma way up to make it happen. You have to have a, like really really super good charisma. To convince him of anything because he's already an executioner he's not going to believe anything anybody says for the most part so you go right here let me show you on the map where this grave is this is gallows hill and we're going to go ahead and um, the only reason i'm doing this walkthrough is because this is going to be uh the first one that you're going to do when you get here so you go all, go all the way here to, to the, and you're going to have to get the dead man's ring 
for Mary Patrick, and you should go on top and start digging. I like the way that this ground just kind of goes down into the earth and uncovers the body. That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and... Nothing on the left hand. What? The right? Oh, shit. There's nothing there either. Where what? the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Uh, Peshek right. will pay for this. All right, so it wasn't there. So we got to go back to Peshek real quick. And we're going to go ahead and just go like this. If I can... If I can get it to work. Sometimes you got to zoom out and zoom back in to be able to fast travel. There we go. And we're going to fast travel back. Do, 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 do. Nice. Okay. And then we got to talk to Peshik one more time because you know what? He's a schmuck. Yo, dude. But this is to our advantage, though, you guys. Good health to you. Uh, there was a ring. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Oh, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right, I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past the lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity. All right, so um, if you say you can pick a lock or you can't pick a lock, you get five lock picks no matter what. I have some experience. All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lock pick for the job. He just said one lock pick, but if you look over here, guys, there's 12 now. I had seven. He gave me five. So if you tell him, tell him you can't, he will take you to the back. He will show you a chest. You can practice on that. If you do that, go ahead and use one of your, your, um, one of your schnapps. Whoa, where is it? Hang on. My schnapps is gone. Save your schnapps. That's what you want. I'm going to take them because I'm going to need them. Uh, drink one of your savior schnapps so you can save your game. And just close the door on me, lady. What's going on? And that way you can do it over and over and over again. You can go back in case, until you can, you can pick a lock fairly easily. It's not easy, by the way. It's not easy in this game. This game is super, super hard to pick locks. And when it says it's a very hard chest, it means it's a very hard chest. So you got to have, I would have, you know, 15, 20, 30 lock picks. You can never have enough lock picks if you're picking locks in this game. And they're super expensive. They're like 18 groschen a piece, 20 groschen a piece, depending on who you're buying them from. The more you buy, obviously, from a trader, the, the lower their prices are going to go. Because the more favorable you are, more favorable they are to you, the better the prices are going to be. Also, whenever you're trying to haggle, the more mistakes you make, the higher the price will go. So be very careful. It goes up by one-tenth of one percent. A one tenth of one groschen every time. So you want to make sure that you know if you're haggling, you got to be careful. And you want to, you know, more deals you make, the the better they're gonna like you. So the more stuff you sell, the higher your reputation. So hopefully our reputation is gonna be pretty high with these guys pretty soon because we're gonna be selling a lot of stuff to a lot of people. Because we're a thief and we're gonna be stealing a lot of stuff. We're also gonna be killing people and we're going to be maiming them and we're gonna be steal uh, robbing them and knocking them out and we're gonna be poisoning them and putting them to sleep and yada yada. There's a lot of stuff we're gonna be doing. Where is his house? I think we're on the back side of it right now. He's up there. Let's go up here. And there it is. It's gonna be dark pretty quick. So we could sneak in, but I'm gonna try something that I tried before and see if it works. Now, I brought my sword. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to add everything to us because we're not going to hide right now. We're actually going to go ahead and try to do this. Now, I know he, I said this guy's a thief, but thieves are smart. They don't always just steal. And so I am not probably going to steal if I this time around. But we are going to take our savior schnapps and we're going to drink it. And the game saved. And we're also going to drink another schnapps. Now that's going to raise my charisma here in a second. 
and my speed. So, see, it, it says that schnapps, okay, well, this is, give me the other one. Give me the other pop-up. It'll show in a second what, what alcohol does for you. But we get to go ahead and as soon as we get a, as soon as we get a buff, here you go. Alcohol begins to act gradually, giving you bonuses on speech, vitality, charisma, and strength. Although, if you overindulge, the after effects can be less, than ple less pleasant. And we should be getting our buff here pretty quick. Let's see if it's working. Hey, who's that? All right, he's not. There we go. Now it's, now it's blue. Now it's starting to go up. There we go. He's got a smile on his face. That's a good thing. If he's not yelling at me, it's a good thing. This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict... Um, I'm drunk. <laughs> ...was a family man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. Let's see. Thanks, but I'm not interested. Why don't you make your bloody mind up what you want? Well, okay, let's talk to him again. I could have bought it, and I still can buy it, but... Um, oh, no, it won't let me. All right, fine. I'm We're back with the money for the ring. All right, here it is. I don't know why it's worth so much to you, though. It's a piece of junk. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. Okay, we got it. And it wasn't hidden. It was in his pocket. So it would have been hidden in a, in a chest if we wanted, decided we wanted to pick it. For me? Nope. I'm leaving. Can I pull my sword out? I can pull my sword out. Okay, hang on. Put the sword back in. So I can pull my sword out. I didn't. I couldn't pull my sword out last time. We're gonna see if we can sneak up on him. We're drunk though. Probably not. Can I take this. I can take that spade if I want. There's another spade there, guys. If you if you don't. Hey, hey. I'm swaying bad, guys. Who's that? Hi. <laughs> What's it to be? Hey, who's that? Oh, damn. I don't think we can do it. Oh, fine. Oh, I'm so drunk. I really want to knock him out. Jesus. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Are you looking for me? No. I'm not. I think I'm going to be too conspicuous to take off all of our clothes. Damn it. It won't let me it won't let me knock him out because I'm drunk, guys. All right, it won't let me knock him out because I'm drunk. So, um if you want to steal anything else from him, you're probably going to have to kill him. I'm getting all blurry-eyed, so we're going to fast travel back. Before we pass out, we're going to go ahead and fast fast travel back to Rate Mill. And try to get over here. Before we pass out, because this is not good. Hey, 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 Miller. I can't talk to the Miller while I'm drunk. Are you serious? There we go. I have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring, the Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you, and I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. 
I mean the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not a thief. <laughs> he is so drunk. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and, and that's going to be it right there. You can have him teach you how to pick locks and pickpocket and um, he can tell you about the other millers and whatnot. And there's a whole storyline there. But we're just going to go ahead and end the dialogue here because we got what we came for. And that was to get this quest line unlocked so he can become a master thief. And that's what we're going to do. Even though he didn't do any thieving today, he will in the future. So just take it easy and set his ass down right here. And guys, I, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. <laughs> As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you. He's going to sleep this off. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Get him to bed, boy. Go to bed. Ha! <laughs>